He's one of the world's most famous psychics. And hey, um, we're going to have to go back to um, upholstery. Pardon? We're going to have to go back to upholstery it's just after this. So We've already just this. moved back into leather and vinyl. Or... Yeah, it's no good. It's no good. But back to upholstery. Are they still scotch guarding, or are they, they going to rotate us into another place? Or uh, don't, I don't know what they're doing. And just one more thing before you go. Yeah. See if you can sort that lighting out, okay? There's stuff up here. Just see if you can yeah. adjust it. Get a guy up there and see if he's can... flicking. It's, it's kind of strobing. Mm. Might be my retinas, I'm not sure, yeah, but I'm starting well, to get like a strobe going on in my in my eyes. Okay, well, that's on the list as well then. Okay, all right. Hey, Josh, Josh, lift your game, mate. Lift your game, all right? Yeah. yeah a bit yeah. more notice. He's one of the world's foremost psychics, and he's come to New Zealand to promote his book, Living in Dreams. Welcome to the Late Night Big Breakfast, David Richardson. Welcome, David. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. David, if I could just go first here. Yeah. I've read a little bit of the book. Yes. And the story I'm getting, it's not exactly about being a psychic. It's more like your family living as psychics. And yes. how you dealt with that. Yes, that's true. Um, the ability is not that strong in me. Uh, my father was far more uh, gifted in that way. Um, the book is more about the history of where this came from. But what, what is that? What, what's what? The... Uh, the, the... Oh, the music? music? Yes. Oh, no, no, that, that's just to sort of um, build and sort of get an atmosphere, I suppose, around you. Sitting um, a bead, to, to if you a bit of a I, I do wish you wouldn't. The, you'd prefer if you didn't have the music at all? Precisely, yes. So, it, in a sense, you're a carrier, not so much a... Well, you could put it that way, I suppose, yes. Much like, you know, I mean, like, like colour blindness or male pattern baldness goes down through <sighs> the... On the mother's side, I know that much. With regards to your gift, mm -hmm. does it have a physical manifestation? Good um, question, Jason. Of, no, does, no, it, no. Does, it, does it exude in a certain way in you? <sighs> the only thing I do make claim to is, is being a sort of a... I, I have the ability to divine water. Right. And that comes to me through my fingers and uh, tingling in my brain. Can you sense well. water now in the building? Can you, uh, can, you, you, do you, can you know where the toilets are, that kind of thing? No. If you're not really psychic, why did you write a book about being a psychic? I have a slight psychic capability. Not, I'm not, I don't claim to be a, a fully-fledged psychic. Because our researcher told us that you might be able to do some sort of... Um, a bit of a, a tri no. A tricks, probably not the word. I don't do tricks. Sports results must be amazing to be able to go on to the, uh, the TAB. Look, I, I really... Uh, I, I didn't results. come here to discuss that sort of side of my life. Uh, it was about a, crimes? Just can, you, can you solve crimes? No, I can't. I've never if made you had any. To, though. I have never attempted that sort of okay. thing. Okay, David, I've got yes. a dead animal, Poppy. She was a dog, um, and I'm just wondering Poppy whether. Did. <sighs> Dear, look, I... died. just on the subject of dreams, yeah. and um, I was intrigued by your title, David, "Living in Dreams." As a child, I was a bedwetter. But I don't mm. really care. I don't. Do well, anybody I just, really I care? Just that just I was just intrigued. And that we need to cover a lot of ish, different types of issues as we go. We're kind of a compacted show. And if Jace has got a sort of a, a medical issue... That... Uh, look, please, you are getting out of hand here, a little out of hand. I, I do want to talk about my book. That is why I'm here. This is the book, of course, Living in Dreams. That's right, yes. When, when you wrote the book, David, did you have a sense that... Ooh, it's going to be a It's going to be a big seller. It's going to be a big well, seller. One hoped that it would be, but... But did uh, you know? Did you have a sixth no, sense? No, I did not have a sixth sense. A tingling? No, I didn't. David, your book, um, Living in Wet Dreams, when did the... No, 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 don't get onto that sort of subject. It is not wet Do dreams, it is just dreams. Well, with Look, respect, David, I would say... This is the, not respect uh, at all. You're not respecting the well, book. Well, no, I'm just, just, trying trying to 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 just trying to put some context, There's I think. some context to, into to, living to, with... I don't have wet dreams. I came here to discuss my book. Will we discuss my book or shall I leave? Just control yourself. Well, you'd probably You're know. behaving like children. I have been interviewed all around the world and this is the first time I have... Um. Well... Let's head back to soft furnishings for our computer tip of the week. 